Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. We are pleased to be joined by Mo Maher of East Grand Rapids Football. How's it going, bud? Oh, it's going great. Very excited to be here. So another season of football is a coming uh, for you so far. This is, uh, I know, a lot of things, uh, a lot of things and a lot of things have changed um, from, you know, the last time you were in this position, you were entering in. Uh, with a new head coach, but all those guys are have have been around now for a year. Um, what what has it been like heading into uh, uh, this year of football? It's a, it's going to be a pretty exciting season. Uh, well, definitely, we're all uh, we have the year with the new program, so we're all our offense or just our whole scheme and everything is we're way ahead of where we were last year, and we're looking at um like last year we're still putting in new plays or like trying to figure out like the signals and or what the plays were called, where to go. But now we're like working on putting in wrinkles to everything. So it's definitely, definitely well ahead of where we were last year, at least offensively. So, and then, yeah, I'm very excited. So going into this year, how do you feel, you know, just, just the excitement of starting a new season? Uh, you know, I'm really excited. I'm I, honestly, uh, I've been looking forward to my senior year for a while. I just want to leave it all out there. And, uh, you know, there's some teams that are really good that we play, like Central and um, and then South Christian's also very good. And, uh, you know, we want to just – we want to give it to them and see what we can do. So, yeah, very excited. Of course, both those teams uh, – one was a runner-up in the state – in uh, in the state finals, and the other one is, is a defending state champion. So, um, it should, should be always pretty exciting there. And they come uh, – believe the uh the first um i know one comes one comes right at you week two and mm-hmm. then you have to wait for a, a little bit for the other one but yeah um, so going into um this year i know you're a you're primarily on defense what is that like to be a defensive end um well what kind of things are going through your head as uh as you as you get ready to make a play uh well mostly it's uh deals with i don't know do you hit the guy in front of you, make sure, uh, and then you, if you see pass, you go get that quarterback, you see run, uh, flow to the ball, and uh, squeeze down, uh, basically just be an animal, just go out there and just have a blast, basically, yeah. What is, what is East Grand Rapids football, what has just this program been like since you, since you've, uh, since you've, since you played here, what is it just like to be a part of it? Uh, well, there's a very, uh, a pretty outstanding tradition, uh, like, Historically, we've been a pretty successful team, and uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of expectations, but uh, you just hope you can rise to those and uh, see and meet those expectations. And uh, if it's just fun, it's a lot of tradition, a lot of fun, and then uh, yeah, basically. Yeah. Okay, so you know this is this is the year I know that you guys were all look forward to. Just you know, I know a lot of. How do you guys have been you know, best friends forever? What's that like to just play with uh, the people that you grew up with and uh, the feeling that you're going to do that one last time and leave it all out there? Uh, really, there's nothing like it. Uh, our senior class is pretty close. We've uh, It's a pretty small class. We have uh, 16, I think 16 guys yep. on our varsity roster and uh, that are seniors. And it's um, we've all been playing together for so long that we all kind of just know how each other play and I'm really excited. I I just have a blast every time I go on the field with them. So yeah, very excited. Sounds, yeah, sounds good. It's it's uh it's another going to be another exciting uh another exciting year of Pioneer football. But oh, yeah. um, what what specific you know things that you're most what do you feel like you need to do yourself to kind of help your team out with uh, wins and what have you really need to improve on it before you head into the first game of the year against Cedar Springs. Um, I think because uh, defensive standpoint, I feel we need to really be good at our assignments and make sure that everyone's uh, flowing to the ball well, everyone flying around the ball, swarming the ball, even after the play is over, just get, get in there and, uh, you know, make tackles when they, when you need to, uh, make sure you got good form and stuff like that, just technique and uh, this, make sure you know the schemes and strategies and stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, um, let's, let's get to know, let's get to know you a little bit. How about that? Mm-hmm. Um, 
Okay, so how do you mentally prepare for a game? Uh, usually I uh, get there about, get to the high school about four o'clock, even uh, sit in the car, listen to some music, usually some pretty uh, heavy metal or whatever is hype music. And then when I'm ready, I go in, get taped up, stretch for probably 20 minutes and listen to more music. And, uh, you know, just uh, the last year, especially the routine of getting taped earlier than pretty much everyone was there definitely helped you get in the right mindset. And football is, is an intense sport. So you got to be ready to go and you got to, you got to want it. You got to be ready. It's so yeah. Yeah. What's it like making a tackle? Oh, uh, it's exhilarating. You at first really, you kind of just see the guy and you don't really know what's happening, but then once like you're making the tackle, you just, there's a rush. And then after the tackle, especially you just, especially if it's a big one, like a good sacker uh, tackle on the backfield, like you just, it's exhilarating. It's awesome. Okay. Um, what is, what's like your pregame meal before a game? Pregame meal? Uh, I hate eating before games, like okay. right before. So usually, usually I'll have like a protein bar and maybe uh, like two bananas or something. So I keep okay. away from cramping and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. What is on, what is on uh, Mo Maher's playlist? Oh, main playlist. I'm listening to a lot of uh, a lot of Metallica and okay. a lot of Pantera. Really, a lot of a lot of metal. I'm heavy big, metal big, guy, huh? Are you heavy metal guy? I am. I'm a big heavy metal guy. A lot of that. I, I've, not, I've not met a lot of those. Uh, the, the, they're very few and far between. But uh, I know they're very. We're very uh, a rare breed these days. I guess. So yeah. Yeah, so, I think that uh, your your parents must be heavy metal fans, are they? Oh, my dad is, that is pretty heavy metal. Okay. All right. That, 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 that makes a lot of sense. Uh, what's your favorite sports team to root for? Professionally, like football wise? Yeah. Professional yeah. college, any really uh, any team, any sport. Um. Well, I think the Lions are got to be my team, especially this year. It used to be the Packers, but Rogers isn't really my guy anymore. And he <laughs> kind of ruined the past few years. And oh but I'm looking at I like the Lions a lot this year. And then I guess college wise, I uh my whole family's from Wisconsin. I, I like Madison. I like rooting for Madison. See like seeing what's going on there. So yeah, it's fun. Yeah. yeah. Of, of course, uh, of course you got root for the Badgers, right? I mean, exactly, not, yeah. I mean not too not too far away from Madison. I mean, you know, coming from the east side of the state. So mm -hmm. I mean the west side of the state, excuse me. Yeah. Um, okay. And last thing is, what is something people do not know about you? Something people don't know. Uh, I, I play three instruments. Uh, I, and I've been really? playing them for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Play okay. the piano, guitar and the uh, stand up bass. So yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah. So should be, uh, should be fun, but all right. Well, Mo, thank you so much uh, for coming on and talking with us. And, uh, you know, best of luck this football season. Well, thank you. I very appreciate it. Thanks for having me.